Hi Cancer and welcome to your love tarot forecast. This is for February 1st through February 15th, 2019. I'm going to go ahead and pull a card for your energy and then a card for whoever you are involved with, thinking about, or they could be thinking about you. And um, I always tend to read you on this side, but if you feel you resonate more on, over on that side, feel free to flip it. So, let's take a look, Cancer. Ooh, you guys are coming out as the elephant greatness. Love your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. So, Cancer, um, you are coming out as a very strong, wise, powerful energy uh, this week in regards to your romantic matters. So I, before I even go further, oh, whoa, okay, so we got two heavy hitters here. Li uh, lion, higher calling on this side. Uh, what we have with, what bleh, you have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. Wow, cancer. Um. This, to me, is a very nice pairing of energies uh, for romance for the two of you. Very aligned. Um, nobody is more dominant than the other. Um, this energy is very passionate, fiery, aggressive, um, quick, protective. This energy is very graceful, slow-moving, wise, sound, stable. So it's like this beautiful balance of energies, yet we're on the same playing field, okay? Um, let's, let's pull some more cards. Like, what are we doing here? I don't know. Also, uh, we just did have that uh, full moon in Leo, total lunar eclipse, so... That might be playing into your love energies this week. Ooh, we got action. Offer. Ooh. And purge. I love it. Cancer, this is like second chances or um, new beginnings in an existing relationship, reconnections of, you know, broken up relationships, um, new love relationships being offered coming in for some of you over these next two weeks, okay? Um, those of you who have recently met somebody or you meet somebody over these next two weeks and you guys just really balance each other and you enjoy them and they enjoy you, if you're still kind of hung up on an ex or something, this is a good time to let all that go for now and really focus on this new energy that's in your life because it looks good, okay? Those of you in existing relationships, there is energy and opportunities being offered here where you guys can purge the past, you know, um, decide that it's water under the bridge and just let it kind of fall away, slip away. And in doing so, you know, coming to a truce, meeting in the middle, you guys just fall right back together. You like fall back in love. Okay. Um, some of you, this is where somebody is like coming back into your life. Um, or even more so, you might really be motivated over these next two weeks to reach out to somebody and try to reconnect with them and, uh, you know, get things going with them again. Strong energy of that. So, Cancer, let's pull some tarot. Mm, I like that first card. Okay, so... First card out, Ace of Pentacles, yes, um, perfect for offer. This is new romance, returning romance, uh, you know, reigniting an existing romance, all new beginnings, all new things. Also, um, this is where perhaps you or your partner are getting offered a new job or a promotion or a pay raise over these next two weeks with this uh, particular card coming out as the um, first. And oh, 
Cancer, look at that. Yes, look at that. We have this little um, Knight of Cups on his knee. Okay, it could be a male or a female. Um, offering this new opportunity. Offering, let's really work at our relationship. Or coming back to you, I love you, you're the one, give me a chance. Or, you know, this is definitely... Um, love being offered to cancer but again this could be where there's a new job opportunity for some of you guys or your partner like new money coming in Ooh, because look at here we have the two of pentacles but in this deck to me this is really about balance like I said you guys balance each other out and um, I love that so somebody newer you met or you meet it's like you guys balance each other out um, it, there's a new job offer promotion money coming in it really like balances the relationship out oh I like it okay and oh yes because look at cancer here's your card the chariot right here um, victory success happiness and look we have this mirroring effect going on how I said this is a balance right this is a balance 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 yeah you guys are just on the the same playing field you meet in the middle you agree or there's some really good energy returning to um, those of you in an existing relationship it looks like financial like um, something you've really wanted to purchase like you get your way um, new money coming in new job raise uh, you know there's something maybe your family members are gifting you guys something but overall no matter what your situation is um, it looks good those of you single single there could be some uh, opportunities maybe even two I'm just saying based on this reading it, it's so straightforward so I, I mean I pulled shadow aspects for all the um, other readings so I really shouldn't leave them out for yours but maybe we'll focus more on what what needs to be purged what is this energy about the past that kind of needs to be let go of and um, healed because it's like we're both on board to make that happen all right first thing out um, being a part has been life-changing for me yeah and that's right here on top of the ace of Pentacles so again <coughs> cancer you are deciding to offer your cup to somebody of the past or maybe somebody that's kind of um, offered you before and you rejected them and now you're like you know what uh, here's my cup but I feel like this is more like a cups being offered to you an apology is being offered to you in an existing relationship let's meet in the middle I'm sorry cancer I love you I really want to work on this somebody returning to cancer um, I really love you being without you has sucked big time so let's keep pulling cards If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. And this is on top of, oh my gosh. And okay, I didn't even clarify your tarot. Oh, okay. You know what? I love how spirit works because um, what comes out here, the clarifier, I don't know. I can't wait to see what spirit has going on. But anyways, um, yeah, this, I'm sorry. There's a lot of remorse being directed towards you. Like, I'm sorry, Cancer. I, I really screwed up. Um, I was a freaking coward. But now I've come to my senses. Like, I understand what I did wrong. Like, and I want to make it right. Again, whether we're together or completely disconnected. I, oh my gosh, I wish I could take back the things I said. That's on the chariot. Um, so, Cancer, this is like, to me, right here, oh my god, especially if you're involved with a Leo, if this involves a Leo, it's like, they're saying to you, I wish I could take back everything I said to my Cancer chariot card right here. So, um, uh, I shuffle the tarot again. So, wow. Oh, I love it. I love when Spirit switches things up from um, the format I've used because I only have four more after you guys so Spirit did um, something a little special for you guys okay okay so for this Ace of Pentacles and Time Apart look at that we have the King and you know what Cancer um, King is of cups is a water sign so I'm taking this 
King of Cups to be your energy and see your back, your back is turned to this knight on his knees. Your back is turned, okay? You've turned your back and they're wanting to offer you a new beginning. They're wanting to offer you an apology. They're wanting to offer you, you know, meet me in the middle. I want to make this right. Give me another chance. I'm really, really sorry. And then look at what happens. Cancer. You flip around, okay? You came out with your back turned, but you're gonna you're gonna flip around to pay attention because this person, look at this, eight of swords, eight of swords up there. <laughs> There's a lot of mental anguish going on in their mental body because cancer, they really want to make it right. They're very, very sorry. Um, it's like you are everything um, to this person. And they didn't realize that. They really um, screwed it up. Oh my goodness, cancer, look at this. Uh, we have the lovers now sitting on top of this uh, two of pentacles, okay, which is... Uh, we have cowardly coming out. So what that tells me is this uh, connection was pretty intense. It, it, you know, like I said, it's very well balanced. It, you guys round each other out. And now we have the lovers, the yin and the yang. It's just repeating the same message over and over. You guys have a really strong connection, but they were cowardly. And now look at this. This is the card, the, the card that's clarifying. Um, I wish I, I could ha take back the things I said. Well, in the the suits, you want to know who's mean? The the swords, okay? They're very blunt. They're very straightforward. So here is this king of swords. Could be an air sign. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel that uh, this is spirit more depicting the energy that of I wish I could take back the things I said to my cancer because this is the chariot and here's this mean king of swords having a sharp tongue. I'm so sorry what I said to you, cancer. I did not really mean that. Please forgive me. All right. So I love See, now I know why spirit had me pull the shadow aspects first because that made clarifying the uh, tarot cards so much more fun. Okay. So let's uh, pull a few more cards here. Yeah, Cancer, you're being offered love. And you know what? I just, those of you single, I feel like there could be a few offers on the horizon for you. Doesn't mean you're interested in all of them, but I definitely see cups being offered to Cancer. And like um, those of you where, whether we're in an existing relationship or we've broken up, like somebody's very remorseful over here for what they did and said to you. All right, so we have disappointment. Um, most diverse card in the deck, balanced only by close proximity to Seven of Diamonds. All right, so um, we do not have the Seven of Diamonds here, uh, which would be the Seven of Pentacles. But to me, this is what this person has put inside of you, and they know it. A great sense of disappointment, sadness, hurt. And um, look at this. What sits in between is um, uncertainty and insecurity, stress or anxiety caused by doubt or worrisome thinking, primarily related to business or professional matters. Consider effects to the adjacent cards. Um, so coming back or trying to, you know, bridge the gap between the two of you is scary and um, it's going to take a lot of courage but again now that this comes out um, I'm drawn back into that offer of you know financial abundance that is coming your way and I feel like it's going to show up when you guys need it the most when you're kind of like at that point of is this ever going to happen oh my gosh because look at what the next the last and final card is wish card best card to appear in a spread look at that and that's Right on top of this heart, the lovers, okay? A wish is granted. Surrounding cards will point to immediately of the reward. Well, what's the reward is love, reconciliation. Very next card out would actually be loving partnership. So we'll leave that there too. Um, love, reconciliation, 
um, rekindling, building the gap that exists between us, any sort of distance, purging the past. And there's some new opportunity financially for some of you that have really been in the struggle um, coming your way. Others of you, again, that have been single, I feel like there's a few opportunities being presented to you, whether you are interested or not, they're there, okay? So let's pull some advice. All right, surrender your need to always be right. And this says, give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Wow, Cancer, so when all this is coming back to you, remember, you are the elephant. Handle all things with grace. Surrender frustration. This is for the this side of the reading. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. And this to me is, um, you know, this person wanting a second chance with you, wanting to apologize, wanting to, you know, be close with you again. Um, or, you know, when this opportunity finally shows up financially, like you guys are just in a really good place. So I'm going to pull one final card, Cancer, and then we will uh, be finished. And it says, um, the love from the animals is unconditional. This, to me, coming out for the final card is um, no matter what's happened here between you and another person, Cancer, you guys have a bond. It is clearly seen in this uh, particular reading. Like there's a bond and you both have the same desire to fix things and become back in balance once more regardless of what's happened and you definitely can achieve that. Um, those of you, you know, where it's been this financial issue and struggle, being there, I feel like you've offered a lot of support. It's finally like going to pay off, okay? So Cancer, those are your messages. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.